Look at that big old white box there. Look at that big old white box. It's a big white box and it's right there and you can look at it too.
another little quick couple touches up of sanding around it. But it's basically down to bare wood and ready for Bondo. Hooray for Bondo. Hooray for bare wood. Hooray for pinball. So what we did here is I bondoed the front corner in the seam. Thaddeus put this piece of wood on the guy I got it from to brace the front and bottom sides that were kind of coming apart and he glued it all together in here if you want to you can see what I'm pointing at there just a, a glue line he's the bottom was separating a little bit but he he sealed it and fixed it and put another brace at the bottom of it uh, so what I just wanted to do was bondo up the seam between the two so when we painted it, it looks like it's one piece of wood again and then this corner here was a lot of veneer was busted off and nasty so we're going through and we're gonna sand all this bondo flat and uh, flip it over, bondo up the back sides where it has a couple more busts, and uh, do it from there, you know what I mean? Here we go. Go back and forth with your fingers, make sure it's flat. Uh, you don't want too much of a big build of, of Bondo. You know, you want to make a flat circle between the original wood and the Bondo. So this needs a little bit more. I can feel some here. I can feel some here. Applying the base coat of the white to the back box is a retro Chris, Chris retro technically, <laughs> doing the paintings. I just got done doing some more bondoings and the sandings, and uh, the back. You know, this is like particle board crap on the back of this thing, and it it splinters and pulls like that. So I, I just did my best. Got a couple little divots I need to refill in with maybe a little bit more bondo here and flatten it out better, but. For the most part it's ready to go at least the body is ready to be painted so hooray for us hooray for you hooray for me hooray for school look at that big old white box there look at that big old white box it's a big white box and it's right there and you can look at it too it's a pretty good song uh that back looks pretty sad right now but i ran out of flat spray paint to use but we're doing rolling paint on the side we did a little touch up around the inside lip as well. So when you put the play field in there, it's nice and white around it. Uh, base coat is on. Head is inside right up under there. You can see it is in there drying. It's got two coats on it already. Woo, look at there. So we've got uh, two coats of base on so far. You can still see how dark this side of this piece of wood is. Uh, if I get good and close, you might be able to see the grain in it, but you can definitely see the difference in the colors. Uh, again, this is just the second base coat of white we've done here, but I went ahead and without filming it I, I forgot to grab the camera and film this, but uh, I taped off the reels made sure everything was covered good uh, and the, the credit reel and Left all the old light bulbs in because they're gonna get changed out in the new bulbs anyway And we spray painted this whole board white you want this board white the backboard behind the glass so the lights really do reflect very well and are very bright and it's a very bright surface behind the glass so it helps the glass shine even better 
I have not done the rim yet around the front. We're gonna that's gonna be done with a roller, uh, which we've been doing the sides and stuff with a roller. So, but again, this is only two coats here, and we are on one coat of this. I, I got me some more some more base coat on the back, and I've been doing spray paint on this so far. It's going to get sanded again. We're gonna do some more Bondo on it and then we're gonna be painting it again. But this is just base primer coat that we're doing on here. But the body has had two, two layers done to it now. Uh, it's drying the second layer as we speak. And it looks really good. I mean, compared to what it looked like when it got here, my God. Uh, I have not painted the whole inside of the cabinet. I wasn't gonna take everything out. I wanted to leave as much original stuff hanging in here and like, from the under the play field below is original cabinet. Everything above the line that you'd see, you know, this wall you'd see when you're playing has been painted white. Uh, and we'll be getting a second coat as well. Uh, but it's looking really good. It's coming along really good. We got the, that's the bar, the lock bar for the, for the front glass and the play field. Uh, painted that white. Probably gonna pull this one here in a minute. Well, I mean, tomorrow, technically. And uh, take it out and media blast it. It's uh, got some speckly white paint on it right now, but it's also got rust and it needs a good cleaning, so we're going to pull that out and do it, too. You don't really see it when you're playing the game. It's the, you know, the glass is up under here, and you're not really looking at that. The, head, the box hangs out over it, but by God, I want it to shine. So we're going to make it shine. But I couldn't be happier with the state of the program so far again we're gonna be doing some more touch-up bondo to these little areas here i have to get more bondo i'm out of bondo and <clears throat> excuse me the bottom of this uh, the veneer is definitely pulling away from here so i'm gonna get my exacto knife out tomorrow and we're gonna cut a section out and bondo that and get it nice and flat again too so again we're just doing base coats right now and we're probably gonna end up doing four or five base coats of white i want this fucker to gleam like the coating of the sun and shine like a diamond in Rihanna's butthole. That's what I want it to do. And I gotta, I gotta do a little wood filler here too. We got some busted off veneer that I missed. But again, I ran out of ran out of Bondo. I had enough to really do the front corner and part of the back and I need to finish it. So that's where we're at, baby. But we're getting so close and my God, it looks so much better already, just white. Just a big white box. It looks way better than that gross, smoke-colored, orangey, yellow, nasty, old stuff. Uh, we traced all the stencils. Again, about five coats of base before we decide to even do one stencil yet. So, but wait till you see all that. We're gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely uh, make a, a concerted effort to film every bit of that. We're losing focus here. This camera can't focus in this in this room right now. It's freaking out. It's freaking out, man. It's too white. It's like the surface of the sun. Uh, we'll we'll be filming all the process of doing all the painting and showing you how to do stencils and all that kind of stuff. Uh, stick around. Thanks for watching, Captain. Captain!